This is exclusive video of Nadia Savchenko, the Ukrainian fighter pilot currently being held in Russia on charges of involvement in the murder of two Russian journalists. Shot on June 25, 2014, the footage shows the 34-year-old just one week after she was captured by militants in East Ukraine and forcibly taken across the border. Obtained by Ukrainian broadcaster TSN, the video shows the first official interrogation of Savchenko on Russian territory. In the video, we see an investigator who goes by the name Manshin in a light blue shirt. Across from him sits Savchenko, who speaks only in Ukrainian, and next to her, a translator. Manshin first assures Savchenko that she has only been called in as a witness and will likely be released at any moment. Those words, say Savchenko's lawyer, were far from the truth. He offers commentary on the clip. What you don't see in the shot is that it's a two-room suite, and in the room next door are two armed guards. Not only did they not let Nadia leave the room, they didn't even let her go up to the window. For the first hour of the interrogation, the investigator asked Nadia to recall her movements, starting from Ukraine's pro-EU Maidan uprising in the winter of 2014 to the time when she became involved in the fight against Russian-backed militants in East Ukraine in the summer of that same year. Nadia recounts the moment when she was captured on June 17th. She says it happened when she was coming to the aid of Ukrainian soldiers who had been caught in an ambush. I didn't see a checkpoint, just some blown-up equipment at first. Then I saw the place where the ambush had taken place. They threw a sack over me. They probably took me through a checkpoint, but I didn't see anything. Nadia goes on to say that she never saw the journalist she is accused of murdering and about how she only found out about their deaths from one of their colleagues. But it's here, says Savchenko's lawyer, that the investigator Manshin starts to set her up. We believe that Manshin is the chief architect of the false case against Nadia. Of course, he was given orders from his bosses, but he was the one who carried them out. He was the one who wrote out the false documents. Early on in the interrogation, he understood that Nadia would be set up. Later, Manshin hands Nadia her mobile phone, and she laughs with him about how she has the number of the Ukrainian embassy and that she might need to call it for help. She could not have known then that today, nearly 18 months after she made those jokes, she would still be a prisoner in Russia.